In any business, you need to understand the lay of the land. And in the digital landscape, that can be even more challenging. So today we're going to take a look at the GeoWeb and how location-based services, meta information, geotagging can all really profoundly affect businesses and even help the planet. You're watching Backbone TV. Demand for iPhone developers worldwide has grown 500% in the past six months. Apple's App Store had over 100 million downloads in its first two months, which translates to an increase from 30 job openings per month to more than 140, all seeking top developers for the iPhone. Countries all over the world are clamoring to hire developers, and universities have even begun offering programming courses for the iPhone. Online cartography or map making is entering a whole new digital phase. New GIS or geographical information systems like Google Earth and Microsoft's Virtual Earth are becoming powerful business research tools that may change the way we see the world. They're part of what's being called the GeoWeb, a convergence of storage space, bandwidth, software, and high resolution imagery that's opening a whole new window on the world. When information is indexed on the GeoWeb, it takes traditional search criteria and integrates it with specific location and geographical information. Eventually, typing the word sushi into your search engine, for example, might give you a virtual peek inside a particular restaurant. Shoppers might take a virtual browse through their favorite store in full 3D. The business applications are almost limitless, but the GeoWeb could even help us better monitor the environment. Researchers could use it to help examine ice pack erosion, tectonic plate movement, even disaster areas, and by indexing information and images pulled from oceanographic institutes around the world, the GeoWeb will even help us map out our oceans. Researchers believe the sky's the limit, and with both Google Sky and Microsoft's Worldwide Telescope incorporating similar concepts, the GeoWeb might even help us map out the stars and the planets. In every city that I could think of the name of the city, there is a Google Map based Google Maps API based business that does something where they, they say you know, these are the native BC woodcraft stores and you can go find them and they have pictures. It, that kind of thing is used pervasively. The big opportunity that people have with mapping is not just have local people find things but in a city like uh, Vancouver where uh, maybe is more people visit every year than actually live here then when a tourist comes how do they know about your store? So they would know about Granville Island because the hotel would tell them to go to Granville Island but if your store was somewhere else, how would they know that? So if you put on a, on Google Map, you build a, a, a guide to your kind of store, textile stores, or, or you know, different kind of craft stores, people can actually find that when they're researching the city. And people do that, and it makes a big difference. Block the noise, not the music, with Sony's slimmest Walkman video MP3 player yet. Small enough to slip into your pocket, the 4GB built-in memory can store up to 2,450 songs, more than 14 hours of video, or hundreds of photographs, offering the joy of multimedia entertainment wherever you go. To learn more, check out sonystyle.ca. between consumer and producer is completely blurred at this point. And most, most, the internet is built on, on, on consumers turned into producers. Um, you know, by day I, I'm a magazine editor, by night I'm a, I'm a, I'm a blogger. Um, you know, by day I protect my copyright um, because my company's business interests are around protecting the copyright. By night I give everything away. Everything I do, everything I do um, outside of my day job, I renounce all copyrights, all under Creative Commons. Um, I'm not in the selling content business. I'm in, I'm in the propagating ideas business. If you wanted to be, um, be craven about it, you could argue that I'm, I'm, I'm giving away my ideas and my content and my productivity to somehow enhance my reputation or um, you know, get more attention credits, etc. that I'll monetize in some other way. And, and that is in fact why I give away my book for free. Um, because I'm not, I don't want to sell books. I want to be read and, figure, and, and to reach more people and I'll figure out how to put my kids through school on that. If I can get the audience, I can figure out how to build a business. My particular view is that copyright is not is, 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 is a hindrance to propagation of ideas, and I'm in the propagation of ideas business.
We hope you enjoyed the premiere episode of Backbone TV. I'm Bradley Shen, and goodbye for now.